Hello students. Good morning to you all. How are you doing today? You are welcome to this morning class. I believe you are all keeping to the measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19, like regular washing of hands, maintaining social distancing, putting on your face mask, and others. Note is very, very important. Once more, I'm Vera Oke, a Greek science tutor. Just like last week, we will also be looking into an interesting topic together this morning titled Storage of Farm Produce. Storage of Farm Produce. That is the topic for today storage of farm produce and i will employ us now to sit properly pick up your pen i mean your writing materials generally your pen your notebook your ruler and whatever that is required for the class and sit very well listen attentively all right let's go to the topic but before then let's look to the objective of the topic Remember what objective is, what you are expected to know at the end of every class. As regard this topic, you are expected to know the definition of the topic. That's one, define storage. Two, state ways of storing things. Three, identify some crops that need to be stored. And you discuss the factors affecting storage factors affecting storage these are the objective of this topic storage of farm produce let's look to the meaning of storage which is the first objective stated i want to ask us a question if we have ever asked ourselves why some food crops are seasonal in terms of cultivation but are always available all year round for consumption. There are some crops that are seasonal in terms of cultivation, but for consumption, they are available all year round. The answer is storage. These crops are available as a result of storage because they are properly stored. Thereafter, we define storage as a process of keeping things or produce for future use. Process of keeping things or produce for future use. I underline the word keeping things for future use. The process of keeping farm produce for future use. All agricultural products are to be properly stored to ensure that some of the crops are valuable throughout the year. That is a question I ask us at first. They are to be stored to ensure the availability of these crops all year round. If the crops are not stored, some crops will be scarce within a period of time and as well to reduce minimum food spoilage caused by pests and diseases. Food spoilage are mainly caused as a result of pests and diseases. So to prevent this spoilage, agricultural products are meant to be stored, or farm produce are to be stored, well kept in order to ensure the availability all year round and as well to prevent the spoilage of these crops. If the crops are not spoiled, there will be a season when they will be scarce. Not just found in little quantity, not at all. These crops will not be available at all to be used. 
So to avoid this, storage is very important. Storage of agricultural produce or farm produce is very, very important. I believe we are following. The next one is some farm produce that need to be stored. We are going to look into some farm produce that needs to be stored. Farm produce that need to be stored. Some farm produce that need to be stored. One, vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables such as water leaf. We have bitter leaf. We have garden egg, okra, tomato, pepper, onion, lettuce, and so on, cucumber. This agricultural produce or farm produce need to be stored. They are stored in order to ensure the availability of this produce all year round. We as well have fruits, fruit, fruit and nut, like mango, guava, pineapple, citrus, and others. There are many agricultural produce under fruits that need to be stored. The storage of this produce we ensure the availability all year round. When you look at this picture, it is covered that we have different vegetables and fruits. These are vegetables, Why? these are fruits, crops that need to be stored. I believe we can all see it. I will expect us now to pick up your viral and identify five fruits in this picture that you can see five fruits and five vegetables i believe the pictures are, the picture is clear enough for you to see identify the identify five fruits that need to be stored in this picture and five vegetables that need to be stored in this picture fine we have different fruits that are to be stored in this picture. You can see them, we have watermelon, we have pineapple, we have purple, we have banana, we have orange and so on. Many fruits are in this picture that need to be stored. Likewise, vegetables. You have cucumber, different vegetables are found that you need to identify. These vegetables and fruits require storage for future use. Orange is seasonal, which is a fruit. Purple is seasonal. All the crops you found here are seasonal crops. But discover that these crops are all available all year round. From January to December, the crops are always available for consumption. It is storage that have helped these crops, enable this crop to be available. Farmers are required to store these crops using different measures, appropriate measure to store them for it to be available in subsequent season. The next one we have legumes. Legumes. A very good example we have beans as you can see in the diagram. This is a picture of a beans. We have granite. Granite is a very good one. We have soya beans. We have pigeon pea and so on. There are many leguminous crops that need to be stored appropriately in order for it to be available all year round and as well to avoid spoilage of these crops. Let's take note of where we started from. The meaning of storage. Some crops that need to be stored. That is what we are treating now. Take note of that. We have mentioned fruit, vegetables. We are presently talking about leguminous crops that need to be stored. The next one we have here, beverages. Beverages like cocoa, coffee need to be stored then root and tuber root and tuber we have cassava we have sweet potato we have yam and carrot these crops need to be stored this is a very good picture of carrot this carrot sorry this is potato that need to be stored this is yam require storage yam require storage and in the next two or three slides, we see how yam is being stored. It's a crop that requires adequate storage. 
is a crop that require what adequate storage yam require adequate storage potato require adequate storage for it to be available all year round let's take note of these crops that require storage beverages like cocoa coffee root and tubers like cassava sweet potato yam and carrot very important then we have oil crops oil crops we have oil palm oil palm nuts this is a very good example of it oil palm nuts we have coconut we have cotton we have granite granite this is a picture of granite it requires storage granite is as well a seasonal crop that without storage it will not be available all year round storage of these crops will make it to be available and as well will reduce minimum spoilage of these crops caused by pests and diseases some diseases will attack some crops that will make it not to be available in subsequent season but when these crops are properly stored it will always be available all year round from january to december you discover that this crop will be available even in large quantity they will all be available even in large quantity often time you eat granite i don't know if you have ever asked yourself is it every month that granite is being cultivated is it every month that granite is being cultivated these crops are stored they are kept in a very good place to avoid the spoilage of these crops when they are harvested in large quantity some are kept in a very good place stored with appropriate measure in order for it to be available all year round oil palm is a seasonal crop as well it has the time that the nut will be ripe harvested and processed it is stored as well the storage of field will make it to be available all year round i believe every one of us make use of palm oil in our houses we make use of palm oil this is palm nut. This is what? Palm nut. Palm fruit. Palm fruit, rather. Better used, palm fruit. It is processed to give rise to palm oil. The byproduct is palm oil. So this oil is being stored for it to be available all year round. You see how important storage is to farmers. They keep selling these crops gradually until other ones, new ones or fresh ones start coming out and they keep selling year after year. Storage is very important. We have cereal crops. Cereal crops as well like rice, millet, sorghum. We have wheat corn corn which is this we all know corn we all eat corn this is a very good picture of corn barley and others these are generally cereal crops if you can identify them we have different cereal crops here different cereal crops here we have rice we have millet we have soggy we have wheat and others and this is a very good picture of corn showing you that corn is a very good cereal crop that needs to be stored rice is every day we eat rice have we asked whether rice is being cultivated daily most of these crops are seasonal but are always available from january to december because of proper storage it is very important for us to store agricultural produce in order to make it available all year round and as well to avoid spoilage of these crops when they are not properly stored they will be scarce in the market the use of it will be limited will be minimized so it is very important for us to store agricultural produce let's look to the method of storing things method of storing things one drying 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 is a very good method of storing things when we are talking about agricultural produce farm produce we should remember that 
fish free. Having a fish farm is part of agricultural produce. Fish is a very good example of produce that requires store that requires storage by drying and as well refrigerating by drying and refrigerating. There are other agricultural products that require drying. Maize as well require drying. You can as well dry maize for it to be properly stored. I believe we have seen a dried corn. A dried corn. Why fish can be dried and as well refrigerated? They are kept inside the refrigerator and make, that makes it available all year round. Sealing is as well a means of storage or method of storing agricultural produce. Bagging. Bagging, we have canning, we have smoking. Fish as well belong to smoking group. Produce that can be smoked in order to store it. Bagging. Which produce do we think that can be bagged? Put inside a bag for it to be stored. We have a measuring cereal crops generally. Rice are bagged. I believe we all know that. They are kept inside a bag. Maize or corn. There are many agricultural products that require bagging for proper storage. Take note of all these method of storing things by drying, refrigerating, sealing, bagging, canning, smoking, and others. There are many other ways of storing agricultural produce. Before we continue, I want us to pick up our pen again. Write out two crops that require bagging, canning, and smoking. Two crops that require bagging, canning, and smoking. I believe we are there. I believe we are writing it. Very important. Okay, let's continue to storage device. Storage device. The first one we have here is barn. Barns are very good example of storage device. We can see a farmer here trying to burn his yam. Yam is a very good example of crops that are kept in a barn. Let's take note of that. Example of crops that are stored in a barn is yam. Very, very important that we should know some of the crops that are stored in a barn. A very good example is yam. You can see the farmer checking up his barn. Already the yams are tied right there in the barn. Barn is a very good storage device used in storing yam. We have another one, cribs. Cribs is a storage device constructed from local materials and used for storing maize in southern Nigeria. Cribs. They are used for storing maize in southern Nigeria. Take note of that. They are constructed from local materials. From local materials used for storing maize in southern Nigeria. So when the maize comes are harvested, when they are still wet, they are mainly stored in the cribs. 
They provide adequate ventilation, which help to dry up the near the maize comb. Adequate ventilation is mainly provided that help to dry up the maize comb. Very important for you to know. A good example of crop that has stopped in a crib. We have rhombus. Rhombus is as well a storage device. They are well constructed local, locally for storing untruest grains such as maize, millet, and sorghum. Rhombus are mainly used in storing maize, millet, and sorghum in northern part of Nigeria. Crip is used in southern part, while rhombus is used in northern part of Nigeria. Is that taking? I believe we are all following. These two devices are constructed locally by the local farmers. They are constructed by the local farmers and are mainly used in storing grains like maize, millet, sorghum, and so on. Take note, cream is found in southern Nigeria. Local farmer is found among the local farmers in southern Nigeria. Why Rombos is among the local farmers in northern Nigeria. Is that clear? The next one is basket. Basket is a very good example. We have silo. Silo is as well a storage device. Let's take note of that. Silo is as well a storage device. This is a basket, a very good example of storage device. I believe we know what is used in carrying. Your tomato can as well be put here. Tomato can as well be put here. If you go to the market, you discover that this is mainly used in transporting tomato, carrying tomato from one place to another, and other things. Then we have silo. Silo is used in storing grains. It's a very good example of device used in storing grains. Let's see to these reasons for storing things. What are the reasons for storing things? One, to keep them in good condition and fresh. To keep them in good condition and fresh. Meaning when these crops are stored, they are always in good condition. They are always fresh all year round. As if it is just being harvested. Two, to preserve and get them stay longer. To preserve and get them stay longer. If they are not stored, they can only stay for a while before the crops can get spoiled. But when they are stored, it will prevent the spoilage of these crops. Then to ensure availability all year at affordable rates. The availability of these crops are shared when it is stored. The crops are always available all year round when they are stored. Then to reduce minimum food spoilage caused by diseases and pests. To reduce food spoilage caused by diseases and pests. When, they are, when these crops are stored, food spoilage are prevented. And this spoilage of crops are mainly caused by diseases and pest attack. For example, beans can be attacked by weevil. Beans that is not well stored can be attacked by beans weevil. And when it's attacked by weevil, such crops are not adequate for consumption again. The beans will not be adequate for consumption again. So it is very important to store these crops in order to reduce the spoilage of these crops. And we are so we have here to ensure that seed needed for subsequent planting are stored in a viable condition. Seed needed for subsequent planting. 
and available or stored for subsequent season when you are to plant crops remember that it is the harvest of the pa the past harvest that is mainly used in planting these crops so when they are not in good condition they can be affected by dormancy dormancy cannot can occur when they are planted the quality of crops planted will determine the produce the quantity of produce when your crops when the crops planted are of good quality there is every assurance that the produce will as well be of good quality dormancy will no longer affect the crops take note of that the crops needed for subsequent planting are stored in the viable condition so you always get fresh one to plant in order to get a better one let's see factors affecting storage what are the factors affecting storage one quality of produce just like what i said now that the quality of the plants of the crops planted will determine the quality of your produce quality of produce is one of the factors affecting storage if the crops that are being stored are not of good quality definitely there will be issues or problem with the storage when they are stored they will easily be attacked by pests and diseases but when they are of good quality they will not be attacked by pests and diseases the next one is temperature different agricultural produce are stored at different temperature range if the produce is stored below above the average temperature required it will deteriorate if that product is stored below or above the temperature required the produce or the crops will get spoiled for example tomato is meant to be stored or say fish is meant to be stored in refrigerator at a very low or cold temperature if it is exposed what do you think will happen or if the temperature is very high what do you think will happen it will definitely get spoiled so temperature determined to a very large extent how to store your produce then moisture content moisture content most agricultural produce contain percentage of water and some of these produce require that the water content or the moisture content has to be reduced before storage if not it will get spoiled so the spoilage of this crop determine the moisture content then we have the types of gas in the storage environment these are the factors affecting storage i believe we are following we have quality of produce temperature moisture content types of gas in the storage environment this is a topic for today which we have just discussed let's look to this assignment please take up this assignment haven't learned this topic one mention three crops stored in a silo mention three crops stored in a silo a basket and crib mention three crops stored in a silo a basket and crib two states four other ways of storing things outside the one mention state four other ways of storing things then your response should be on word processing and send your answer to the email below vera.okay at greenlandhall.org vera.okay at greenlandhall.org thank you for being part of this class i remain vera okay bye